given your long career, I know you've worked for a time outside the country. How helpful was your time working abroad in shaping who you are now? Oh, mm. uh, in the Philippines, there are there are luxuries that are not present abroad. Uh, here we have. Uh, it's easy to get help. Uh, everybody's here. Uh, it's safer. Uh, my friends are here. If I need anything, I always know who to call. During my first um, assignment in Hong Kong, I was basically alone. I had my friends, a small group, but I had to take care of many other things. I I had to deal with uh, regulatory authority from scratch. Uh, there are certain product groups where the level of sophistication is much higher. So I needed to, to quickly accelerate my learning. Uh, the curve was very sharp uh, to reach that level. When the global financial crisis hit us in, uh, in 2008, 2009 to 2010, uh, the Philippines was safe. Uh, there's very little going on here. But I was in Hong Kong managing the trading room and seeing withdrawals upon withdrawals upon withdrawals and being extremely stressed. So I've, there were certain things that, uh, certain crises and uh, issues that I learned moving around, uh, around uh, various countries for, for CD Bank. Uh, where I work, where I worked at. Um, so it it kind of accelerates the learning process. People say, you know, uh, when you're comfortable, you stop learning. I tell you, a foreign assignment is a position of discomfort. Discomfort with family, discomfort with where to buy groceries, discomfort with managing work-life balance, discomfort with uh, uh, bonding with a new set of, uh, of colleagues or your own set of staff. It's like starting all over again. Uh, and you learn, you learn new things. You, you get to sharpen certain skills. It's something that I would recommend to, to young people. 